In a prior video where I was doing cloning of this particular set of two Microdorf Golden Harvest tomato plants, I took cuttings and I was quite pleased with the flavor of these uh, particular tomatoes. They do turn a nice dark orange when fully ripe. Uh, they also have a uh, distribution of fruit across the plant and continue to set flowers and green tomatoes. As a matter of fact, I am very happy with these. Consequently, I rooted the cuttings in a second air garden bounty with a 40 watt LED on it. And the cuttings have rooted nicely. As a matter of fact, we'll pull one of these out and you can see this uh, root mass is looking pretty lush, you know, for the cutting. And I've taken these uh, cuttings and as they've rooted, I've put them into different grow containers. This cutting was placed into a half gallon mason jar. I used urban hydrocultural jar lids as well as spacers that cover the top of the arrow garden basket. This particular one is growing quite nicely. Uh, the cover over the jar for the people who ask is nothing more than a uh, child's legging that uh, is stretchy and so I just cut off the end and slid that over the jar. This other cutting was placed into a 14 gallon plastic food storage container. It has been spray painted from its normal blue color to a more subdued gray. It is painted on the top and the bottom of the lid and I'm noticing a little bit of paint that has come off from outdoor use and just getting uh, tossed around our storage shed a little bit. And I'll have to touch that up. But what I really want to show you is that this is another one of the cuttings from the plant that I showed you. And let's go ahead and take off the lid and take a quick look to see how it is establishing. And there you go. This is a 3.75 inch net pot. The roots are looking very healthy. They're starting to bush out and the 14 gallons of nutrient water at half strength should be sufficient for a microdorf tomato. If not, I will be happy to let everybody know that perhaps they'd like to move up to a larger container. So based off of the uh, results that I've had so far, I would be more than willing to do this in the future. I can perpetuate my tomato plants by taking cuttings and starting um, mother-daughter plants. And we'll see how long I can perpetuate the tomato plants in the future. Hopefully I can go three or four generations at least before having to reseed and plant new plants. Why you ask? Because it saves time. Instead of waiting, for example, 120 days, I might be able to uh, get tomato plants to fruit in about two thirds of that time or possibly even shorter. So it does save time and it helps to get a continuous cycle of tomatoes.